Welcome to the first Fix My Mix. This is a new series where you send in a mix you're working on and we show you exactly step-by-step step how to take it to the next level. The goal is to identify problems and show real practical techniques to solving them. It's gonna help us all improve our mixes. We're gonna do this in all different genres and styles and different levels of sessions. So if you want your mix featured in a video like this, hit the link in the description. It only takes a couple of seconds to submit. Plus, we always send you back the final mix session we come up with so you can continue working with it and learning from it. Here's what we're doing today. Take a listen before and after. I mean, to the soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know what we cutting on my dome. Dome. I mean, to the soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know what we cutting on my dome. It's a massive transformation. Big thanks to the artist Sev the Juice for sending in this session. Let's get started. So here's the session that we received. So the first thing I noticed in this session is that the vocals aren't edited yet. This is often skipped over, but it's an important step to do. Two things to focus on. One, cut out the silence. Take a listen here. Yeah, yeah. So that looks like silence, but there's a lot of noise there. And that sounds amateur when you hear that in the final mix. So we want to cut it out and place fades before and after all of our edits. And that goes for all these sections here. If there's not supposed to be vocals, we want to cut it out and place fades. The second thing with editing is the breaths. If the breaths sound like gasps and they're distracting from the performance, I'll often put a cut right before a breath and then put a fade over the breath. So take a listen before any edits. Let's talk about it. Losing my focus, let's talk about it. So some of these breaths are sticking out a bit. Let's just place a cut. We're going to put a fade over the breath. And we can even curve that fade a bit more if we want. And that's just a natural way to tame the breaths and make it feel a bit more in control. We don't want to get rid of the breaths because they're an important rhythmic element, but it can help the vocalist sound more in control. As I edit this, I'm going to place all the regions with similar parts on the same track. So if I have a bunch of rap parts, I'm going to put those on this track. Maybe on this track, I'll put all the sung parts. This cleanup stage is going to make it a lot easier when we start mixing. So here's what it looks like when I've gone through and done all that edit and reorganize. Next, let's pull up the mixer. I want to take a listen to just the two tracks track beat. It's a great beat. It's already pretty well mixed. I just want to liven it up a little bit. So I'm going to put on Xbox tone and I'm just going to bring up a little bit of the highs and air. So it's done a lot in bringing that hi-hat and clap forward a bit and just overall lifting up the beat. Just feels a little bit more exciting now. All right, so let's talk vocal processing. Take a listen to this vocal. I mean, to the soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. Dome. Money ain't a problem. Money ain't a problem. First, the tuning isn't right for this genre. We want that classic robotic hard tuning effect, uh, but right now we're not really getting that, so we're gonna fix that. So number two, this vocal is over compressed, and we can tell that because the consonants don't sound natural. They sound very crushed, kind of hyper detailed almost in not a great way, so we're gonna fix the compression. Number three is the tone of this vocal. Right now, it's very mid heavy, meaning the mid frequencies are very forward. There's not a lot of highs or air, and the body of it isn't really there either. So take a listen to that and listen to the tone of the vocal. I mean, to the soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. So we're gonna infuse some of that air and breath that you would expect to hear in this genre. And finally, the delay is kind of getting in the way. It doesn't sound clear. It's stepping on the lead vocal and it's creating this kind of muddy sound. I mean, to the soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. It's cool to have a delay heavy sound, but we're gonna clean it up. So we've identified these four problems that we wanna fix, let's fix them. First, let's get the tuning right. We've loaded X pitch, we're gonna set this to B flat major, and this is the key of this track. And all we're gonna do is turn up the transition. We're gonna leave sustain and strength alone. Don't touch those. We're just gonna turn up the transition, and that's how you get this classic robotic tuning effect. 
I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome Dome Money ain't a problem Money ain't a problem Let's talk about it Already we're getting a much cleaner tuning and that sounds a lot better. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome this fixes the tuning issue we had by setting it to the right key and scale and having a fast transition, we're gonna get this classic robotic tuning effect. Next, I'm gonna turn off all these processors and I'm gonna load Xbox Pro. And let's just dial this in from scratch. So the smooth compressor is perfect for this track. It doesn't sound over compressed or crushed, but we're still able to get a lot of compression, which we need for this vocal. It just sounds smooth and solid. And this fixes the compression issue we had. If we turn back on these other compressors, you can hear it's just so much smoother, the consonants are so much more natural, and the vocal just feels more forward in the mix. So this fixes the compression issues we had. So let's take a look at the tone. Now the problem with the tone was that it was too mid heavy. It was too much mid range, not enough highs and not enough air. So you can see we're adding a significant amount of air and highs. Take a listen before and after this tone. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. So of course we can adjust exactly how much air we want to taste, but I like this airy for this genre. It sounds nice and crisp and clean. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. We also carved a little bit of the lows out here just to clean up some of the mud. And we obviously placed a filter here to get rid of any rumble in the lows. And this just creates a much cleaner tone overall. Our final issue had to do with the delays. Now before we had these delays going. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. And they sound okay, but they don't have that big size while still being clean. And that's where the Xbox Pro space module comes in. Because of this ducking feature, we are able to duck the delay out of the way when the clean vocal is there. And that creates a much clearer lead vocal while still being able to use those big reverbs and delays. Money ain't a problem, money ain't a problem, let's talk about it. We're also using this ping pong here on the delay, which makes it sound even wider. So that fixed all the main issues, but there's a couple things I want to try. First, I want to play around with this SFX module. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. Dome. Money ain't a problem. Money ain't a problem. Let's talk about it. I really like the pitch widener here. It's adding a nice thickness and size to this vocal. It's a very natural doubled effect. Just a little bit of it can really enhance the lead vocal here. The other thing I wanna do is play with X Rider. And this is gonna do that final polish by doing an automatic vocal ride. It's gonna keep the level nice and tucked into the beat. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. So you can see I set the target gain towards the top of the waveform here. We can see the true gain line is sometimes turning it up, sometimes turning it down, and it's just keeping that vocal perfectly tucked in the mix. So take a listen before and after. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. Dome. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I've been cutting on my dome. 
So instantly we're getting that polish and that sheen on the vocal that we want. It sounds much more open and just generally fits this genre much better. So here's what the mixer looks like on the session that I've cleaned up and I've copied over to all the other tracks. Now, a couple of things I wanna mention. One, on the rap vocal parts, generally the only processing difference is less reverb and less delay. Gotta be honest, gotta keep myself straight. Nigga say they love me, what the fuck they move is straight. Whereas on the melodic parts, we've got a lot more of that reverb and delay. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. So generally when you're copying processing over, you wanna tweak it for whatever the track is. And generally with rap vocals where it's not melodic, you can probably use less delay and reverb and have a little bit drier, tighter sound. When you have melodic vocals, a lot of times that reverb and delay sounds nice. Take a listen in context. The fuck they move is straight. Shut it so bad with it ass that's fake. I even talk these days, I keep it low, I keep it real, I keep it realer. You know what I mean, I keep it realer. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. One other effect we can play with is this telephone effect on the outro. He's got kind of a spoken word outro. I And it creates just a very cool kind of outro effect. Something you can play around with as well. This helps the mix evolve. It feels like there's a beginning, middle, and an end. So here's something that was in the original mix session, which was this EQ on the all vocal bus. And you can see we had a boost here on the high frequencies. It's trying to bring some of the air into the vocal, but generally if you're doing this with just a traditional EQ, it can bring out some brittleness and harshness in some of those frequencies. So I like to use Xbox Tone and use the air slider just to bring in any of that air that we need. If you wanna actually add some high frequency boost, you can use the NYC mode, which is great for this. Just boost up those highs. You can tweak them exactly where you want them to be. Listen to the EQ version versus the Air Plus version. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. The Xbox tone version is a lot smoother on that high end, especially on sibilance. Last thing is the mix bus. They had a limiter on here, which is great. I just added a little bit of EQ and a little bit of saturation. You can see I'm using this just to give it that final punch. I mean, So take one more listen before and after. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. Dome. I mean, too soft, I've been sipping in my sofa. You ain't know I'll be cutting on my dome. So that's the main things I'd focus on with this mix to take it to the next level. I hope you've learned something from watching this. And if you like this kind of content, let us know in the comments. Like I said, we're gonna do this in all different genres and styles and different levels of sessions. So if you'd like your mix to be featured in a video like this, hit the link in the description. It only takes a couple of minutes to submit. Plus we always send back the final mix session so you can save presets and continue working with it. Give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, happy mixing.